if you want a safe and cheap marketplace to bulk, buy or sell Fallout 76 items, make sure you use Easy MPC. Use code TR3B to get 5% off. Links Welcome in the TR3B, description. Today we got a video for you and it is about how to get hold of rare items, untarnished items and unique items that you can find around the map that you might not be aware about. You can put in your display case or vending machine and all that rubbish, you know what I mean? We're starting with this, this is one of my favourites. This is the cracked death claw egg and the normal death claw egg. You can only put the cracked one in your vending machine and this is how you get it, take a look at this. You go here on the map where I just showed you that was the abandoned waste dump. You'll come into this little cave, follow this route and you will find some of these eggs on the floor and they look really good in your vendor machine. Check it out. There it is, and they're beautiful. They do look quite big in your vendor machine as well, I do like them. One of my favourite. But yes, it's all about bits that you can put in your vending machine. They're quite rare, unique. In the game of Fallout 76, like the Death Claw egg there, there it is. Look, look at that. That doesn't go in your vending machine. That can go in your, um, no, sorry, it doesn't go in display case. It can go in your vending machine for sale. And that's what I like to do with certain bits that don't go in your vending machine. This does. This is the Radio Jammer. There's only about four or five of these on the map that spawn in. This is one location very unique look at that doesn't do anything but it just looks great in the display case i've made a new um camp and it is like a pyramid if you haven't seen it already it's a pyramid with loads of display cases in it i just put loads of crap in it that i find around the map this is another brilliant one and i've been playing this game for almost two years yeah i never knew about this till yesterday i've done a lot of research into these games into this video sorry all these rare items that you can get and I never even knew about this. It's amazing. Look at that. Look. A lot of research. I've gone to YouTube, Reddit, the internet in general, and just find out where and how you get these items. And that is quite a good one. One of my favourites. This one is featured on a couple of our videos already before, back in the past, mm. ages ago. I thought I'd shove it on this video because it's really good. That is amazing. It looks amazing in your vending machine. Not vending machine. I keep saying that. I mean display case. All right. It is quite good. There's two that spawns here. The only two on the map. No, it's. I think there's three actually. There's one down in Motoga. So there's only three that you can get hold of. This is another good one. Looks amazing. Any display case. Check this out. This is the flight recorder. Look at that. The flight data recorder, should I say. Big orange ball. And it does look amazing in your display case. One of my favourites. Check it out. Look at that. Lovely. Beautiful. On to the next one. Now this is another weird item. This doesn't go in your display case, it doesn't fit, but it does go in your vending machine, yeah. It is the lumber saw. Now there's only two on the map that I know of. I think there's only two. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. There's one at the lumber mill just under Vault 76 and this location. There it is, look at that. Really weird, very strange, unique item. There it is. This is a brilliant place to come. The antique shop down south near Watoga because there's always a random spawn here for headgear. One in 20 chance to come here and it actually spawns in. So it's quite rare, quite hard to get hold of. And it uh, sometimes it could be the green hood or the flight helmet and a few other things. But also you can get the lighthouse souvenir item here. Lovely jubbly. And there it is. This is the flight helmet. Look, check that out. Quite a rare item. You can't get it anywhere in the map. It's got to spawn in randomly, that is. At two locations, I think. One is in White Springs and one is here. There it is, look. You don't see many of them. You do not see many of them. Here, this place we all know and love. This is Valley... Galleria, where we do our daily ops. Now, did you know that when you come to this room, which when one of these signal repeaters is actually in, that is a rare item. Look, pre war lamp, brand new. Look at that, and it lovely. Also, looks amazing in your display case. Now, this is a strange location. Now, I've been after this dress for a long time, I've been playing this game for a long time, and I've only ever seen one or two people wear this dress. I don't know why, because it looks amazing. And I've realised it's very hard to spawn in. On my first go, it was there. Check it out. There it is. Look at that, look. Isn't it wonderful? Looks good on male or female. I don't care. I'm wearing it. 
Well, onwards and upwards, we're at the Overseer's home, and here you can get the untarnished coffee mug. Not mug, sorry. The um, coffee. What's it called? Pot. Coffee pot. We'll call it a coffee pot. And also, there's a number of items here that you can get hold of. You get the trifold flat uh, flag. You can get the accordion. And there's a strange glitch when you throw a grenade into this display case. And if you're lucky, the fire breather uniform will pop out. There's other random items here as well, as well as these picture frames that are here on the mantel picks. Now you gotta be you gotta be careful with these picture frames because whenever you get them. When you pick them up, they've got different pictures inside of them. But when you go to display them, they're always the same. Bit of a strange one. They always turn out to be the lighthouse picture. Bit of a weird one. I'll show you again later when I get another one back in White Springs. I'll show you that in a bit. Untarnished coffee pot. That's what I meant to say. There it is, look. Lovely. Now, as far as I know, it's the only one in the game. But do let us know if I'm wrong. Let us know in the comments. And also, let us know in the comments below if there's anything else that I've missed out or anything that I need to know that I should get to put in my display cases. Check it out. Now, these are good. Everyone knows about these. These have been in the game since day one. These are the scorched body parts. They've been pickled. They're in a jar. There's also one in that locked fridge there. Check that out. This is what they look like. Look amazing in anyone's display case. There it is, look. You've got the foot. You've got the hand. And then you've got the head. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's got my pint of wine. Well, we're at the Hornwright Estate. Now, this location is really good for instruments. You get all the instruments here. Well, not all of them, but you get most of them here. Check this out. Oh, yeah, if you need the key cards, you have to go where I just showed on the map there. The um, Hornwright summer villa and you'll get the key card which is in the basement you need that to get into this place otherwise you're going to find it very difficult this is where the violin is that does go in the display case and it stands upright always looks very nice up next we got the oh there's the violin yeah look at that beautiful Then we got the snare drum, which also goes in a display case and does look very good. Now there's two items as well over here that you can get that don't go in a display case, but I always get them and I always stick them on vending machine. They sell for about a thousand caps, they're quite good. So you've got the acoustic guitar and a the banjo. They're too big to go in a display case, but there it is. And over here, we have got the flute, which does go in the display case. Not that you can see it, because it lays down flat. But it's one of the instruments. It looked pretty good. There it is. Right, next we have got the music bus, is what I call it. Now, here is the trumpet. But it didn't spawn in for me this time. But you also get the accordion here and the steel guitar spawns here. So check that out as well if you come here. All right. Right now this lot here. This is all now um, in White Springs. This stuff. So on the White Springs section of the video, and we got the clean coffee tin, and we got the Wake Master clock. Look at that. Oh yeah, and the clean bowl. So clean you can eat your dinner off it. <laughs> I don't think I'll bother displaying that one, but the Wake Master clock always looks good, and the um, coffee tin as well. Well, like I said earlier, this is this is a good place we can get the picture frames. And various vases around White Springs. 
but like I said, with all the picture frames, they've all got different pictures when you go to pick them up. But when you look at them in your junk section or when you go to display them in display cases, they only ever show the uh, lighthouse, nothing else. So you only need one. A bit confusing, but there you go. Now, another one of my favourites in White Springs, this is the new clean globe. Check this out. Go into Elegance, down at the White Springs shop down on the lower level go right in the back here and on that shelf you will see the clean globe it looks very nice in anyone's display case one of my favorite items there it is that and i do believe it's the only place where it spawns if i'm wrong please tell me in the comments below another unique item i've run past this place a million times and i didn't even realize till yesterday that here spawns the cowboy hat i've seen it loads of times here it is check that out isn't it lovely especially with that dress on back into the white springs main building we have got the only location on the map where all of the board games spawn in this is on the top level in the restaurant section of the main white springs building and just over the or well, just around the corner also you've got bubbles the vendor and he or she is a robot i don't know what it is also sells all of the um new coca cola bottles every single one she'll sell them all he'll sell them all don't know what it is here just out the white just um just left of the white springs golf club when you spawn in there's a little swimming pool there and that this place here is great for frogs if you need a frog for your um what's it called prince i think in it prince the frog tub that you make and all that you get the frogs there and frogs do look amazing in your vending machine i do love them they look pretty good now this is another very good location for the now, once upon a time, this is the only place you get hold of it. Now, it also spawns in the overseer's house, and that is the undamaged trifold American flag. And also, I think I'd make two videos of this place because it wasn't there that time. But I think I'll come back here in a minute, and there's also the umbrella and the umbrella stand. Have a look. It spawned in that time should always be there I think I picked up a couple of days ago so if you get all these items you, you can go back and collect in 48 hours time two days time they will spawn back in again you can keep getting them it does take two days for some reason to spawn and you can't serve them you've got to wait once you pick them up you've got to wait here back in the White Springs main building the bartender upstairs next to the disco hall will have these beer steins in quite good for your collection if you've got the um other beer steins i think it's the meat week one there's three in there but i can't remember which they are but there's another two there that you can get your collection anyway this is the collection that i've got going on at the moment this is my base at the moment if you haven't already seen it it is just like a museum i try to get as many display cases in what i in the main building what as, as what i can there's my fashion at mask collection here we've got all the instruments we've got the new cola bottles from bubbles and white springs like i just said various vases from white springs as well always good to collect look nice and anyone's vendor machine there it is look lovely teddies and above all the main teddies i just thought one would do everyone's got the teddy everyone does a teddy i want to do something different you know what i mean so there is the um flight recorder and that picture frame with the lighthouse in glowing stuff i'm yet to get older some glowing blood but i will soon the board games the lamps yet again in white spring some random crap oh the umbrella stand there wooden bucket ball and a typewriter the robots and the fans the restored fan there look pretty good beer bottles random rubbish microscope oil canister there's the beer steins kitchen equipment that is the food dehydrated that brown thing in the middle you can get that at Arnholt farm the famous scorched parts in the jar the coffee collection with the tea pots whiskey and spirits collection vodka all that rubbish 
and the globe. Now here you'll see as well the um, moist rad kelp. Oh yeah, you got them as well. Yeah, you got these. Um, uh, you get them in radiation rumble right on the bottom. Cracked um, death claw egg. Yeah, uh, that you can only get it at Project Paradise event. Moist rad kelp. So that's where you get it. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon in the wasteland. Bye for now. If you want in-game items for Fallout 76, make sure you use this website. They're called EasyMPC. Use code TR3B to get your 5% off. Links in the description.